morning friends today is a very exciting day because we are finally ready to start nesting organizing and getting ready for our baby i am currently 34 almost 35 weeks along so we're definitely due for this i feel like i've been getting distracted lately focusing on other projects around the house but today's the day i really want to start organizing everything there's a ton of clothes that i need to go through and wash some holes that i know that we have of things we still need to purchase for baby that we need to fill so there's a lot that i want to get done today and how we roll around here whenever there's a lot that i want to get done i love a good list so let's go ahead and write out little to-do list of everything I want to accomplish. I know I'm not going to be able to get everything done today, but I want to at least get started and tackle some of the bigger things. So here's our list. I tried to keep it manageable, but it should still keep us busy all day. So I want to sort through all of the baby clothing and just identify any gaps where we just don't have enough clothes yet that we need to fill. Also I want to go through and organize the nursery closet. We've basically just been sticking everything for the baby in there and it is just chaos in there currently so i want to go through to organize that to see if there's things that we can unbox set up whatever just to add some more organization to that space then i want to wash the baby's clothing as well as like the swaddles blankets textiles like anything that's a material I want to get that washed i want to set up the car seat and stroller and also learn kind of how they work together and we'll spend some time organizing baby's bath stuff i think that's all going to go in our guest bathroom and then depending on where we are at with time i think it would be really nice to shop for a few of the baby items that we need so maybe we could go to target or walmart or something like that and it's not on here but tonight actually i've got my first childbirth prep class so that's exciting it's like a three week online class that's offered through my hospital system so yeah i'm really looking forward to that as well so that is the plan for the day but i have not had breakfast yet so let's go ahead and get ourselves a bit of fuel so we can be ready to tackle this list it's feeling like a waffles morning so i'm going to grab two of these kodiak power protein waffles they've got 12 grams of protein, I think, in a two waffle serving. Then we'll top them with some mixed berries for a little fruit serving, some Greek yogurt for a bit more protein, and then maple syrup because waffles. How good does this look? This has been just one of my absolute go-to breakfasts or lunches throughout all of pregnancy, but I want to make sure that I'm taking that with my prenatal vitamin. And for those of you who have been following along, you have probably heard just kind of some of the struggle that I've shared in finding a good prenatal that I really like. Tried out several early on in pregnancy and was just really struggling to find one that it felt like really met all of the needs and the things that I was looking for while also was something that I didn't struggle to take and could actually enjoy taking. So I was honestly so excited when I finally discovered Parallels Prenatal Vitamins. I'm so excited to be working with them again on today's video. What I love about them is they actually have trimester specific vitamin packs. So I have the third trimester pack here. They actually change as you progress through each trimester to support the symptoms, growth milestones, and just general needs of each trimester. That's something that just makes sense to me. Our bodies change so much during pregnancy, so it doesn't make sense that most prenatal vitamins don't change along with you. So now my third trimester, my pack contains prenatals, of course. Let me just take them now. Then we've got an omega DHA and EPA, calcium and magnesium, which helps support baby's bone growth, and a probiotic to help with digestive issues. What I really appreciate about Parallel 2 is they really make it easy so you don't need to do a ton of guessing or crazy research. I've been taking their vitamins for almost a month now, I think, 
And I can honestly say I've been feeling amazing. I no longer dread taking my prenatals in the morning. Then also too, some of the digestive issues and heartburn that I've been experiencing has honestly eased up a lot in that time as well. It's not gone completely, but it is a lot better than it was. And the other thing I've really been enjoying with breakfast is their symbiotic greens powder. It helps support wellness, immune health, and gut and digestion. And honestly, it's just a really nice little addition to my morning routine. For something as green as it is, it tastes surprisingly good. It makes me feel better knowing that I'm doing everything that I can to support my body. So let's just give this a little stir. I mean, it really is good. So now I'm going to enjoy my little green drink with my breakfast, but whether you're currently trying to get pregnant somewhere in the middle of your pregnancy journey or even newly postpartum, definitely recommend giving Parallel a try. You can use my code Ashlyn20 for 20% off of your purchase. All the information about them is going to be linked up for you in the description box below. Now let's enjoy this spread and then get to work. My breakfast was so good, but now it's time to get started on the nursery and when I say that this nursery closet needs some love, this is what I mean. <laughs> it's a disaster. I think I want to get started just with sorting through all the clothes and pretty sure they're all piled up here. We will double check everything else just to make sure. Let's pull those out and go through those first. everything and it's big but honestly I'm looking at this wondering if we're going to have enough because I know that we have clothing all the way up to a year in here so let's start sorting through it and see what we've got but also can we take just a minute to appreciate how adorable baby clothing is look at this little hat this little National Parks onesie. I can't wait to see him in this stuff. Okay, so I've just got everything kind of spread out in a circle around me. So starting over here, we've got all of our newborn clothes. We have four sleepers with the little feet on them. And then just a couple, I think there's again, four other little outfits here. I've heard that snap outfits like this are really good for right when they're first born before kind of their umbilical cord um, kind of comes off. I don't know exactly. I'm sure I'm going to be learning about all of that in my childbirthing class this evening. But then we've got zero to three months here. So again, just a handful of sleepers. It's only four here and I think he'll be in this size for a decent amount of time. So probably need a few more sleepers. Then I've got a couple of rompers and then some full outfits as well. Trying to strike that balance of keeping his wardrobe minimal while also having enough clothing so that we don't need to be running a load of laundry every single day. So probably going to want a couple more newborn items, specifically sleepers, I think, and then a few more items for zero to three months too. Then we've got three to six months here and honestly, we do not have a ton for this age range six to nine months, nine to 12, and then it's kind of where it taps out. I think I have one 12 to 18 months item, but that's about it. And then over here, we have a couple of towels, some beautiful blankets. How cool is this National Parks one? And it goes so perfectly with this beautiful one that my friend actually crocheted for the baby. It's so sweet. And then kind of other little baby bits we've got 
burp clots here. I've heard really good things about these ones from Amazon. Some bath towels, although I think I have more. I'm pretty sure these came in a pack of 10. Not sure where the other eight are, but also so soft. I'm sure the baby's gonna love those. Then we have a couple of crib sheets and some swaddles. Oh, and on here I do also have some bibs, actually a lot of bibs, but all my friends told me that you use a lot of them, so happy about that. And also a really good color variety as well. Got a little hat, and there, I think there are some hats scattered throughout all the different outfits as well. A little pair of booties, although I don't think he's gonna fit these right when he's born. And then a, what, probably like 10 or 12 socks right here. And just look at how tiny and sweet those are. I just like can't believe he's going to fit these. So now I just want to spend a bit of time removing the tags and hangers from everything, getting ready to wash it. And then while I do that, I also want to make a bit of an inventory of what I have for each size and then any gaps that I want to fill. How many sleepers do I need? How many other little outfits? I don't think I have a coming home outfit yet, so I want to get that. I just want to write that all down so that as I'm looking at baby items over the next month or so, I can kind of know what I have and what I need. So, start a new note. So I just finished going through everything to about six months. And when it comes to newborn in zero to three months, definitely have a few needs. I think specifically I'd like to have a few more of the like zippered footy sleepers for each size and then a couple specific needs for each of those. But when it comes to three to six months, I I really don't have a lot. Definitely need some onesies, want to get some outfits and this is kind of going to be the peak of summer, I think. So I want to make sure we have plenty of, yeah, just short sleeve things because it gets hot here in North Carolina during the summer. So then I just did the same thing with the six month and up clothing, removing tags, writing down what we had. Didn't list out any needs though because I decided I'd rather buy those clothes when he's a bit closer to that size. That way we can just have a bit of a better idea of what's going to be seasonally appropriate because just don't know if he's going to grow really fast, slowly, or whatever. So we're ready to start washing and I think what I want to do is wash all of the newborn and zero to three month clothing together, maybe three to six month too, but I want to create a cutoff kind of here so that it's not just like all the clothing all together that I'll need to sort through again. And then I'll just add in some of the blanket swaddles, whatever, just to make sure that we can have a full load. And then we'll do kind of some of the older type clothing after that. One thing that I'm definitely adding to my to buy baby list is I've seen a lot of people use these little bags that you can put just some of the smaller baby items in, in the wash. That way you don't lose socks or anything like that. Definitely want to do that because just looking at the size of these, I already know we're going to lose them. So, now that we've got the laundry in a good spot, I'd like to spend some time tackling just kind of the rest of the closet. This kind of shelf thing, we've got bath stuff that I'd like to move to the bathroom, kitchen stuff that should go to the kitchen, a bunch of breastfeeding and postpartum things that I'd like to put in the little cart that I'm creating for that. Just generally, I would like to make sure that the things in here are actually going to be staying in this room, and if not, like to move some of those things to the room that they'll end up in. I think that's gonna make it so, while this closet might not end the day completely organized, it's kind of a multi-step process, we're going to be closer to kind of our end goal organization. 
So let's go through this now and see what we're able to do here. That all goes over here. Perfect, found the rest of the washcloths. Knew they were somewhere. So this whole closet is already looking a ton more organized. Up here at the top, I've got a little diaper caddy filled with wipes. Eventually I'll organize this and fill it with all kinds of diapering goodies, but for now, felt like a good spot to store my wipes. Over here on the left, I've got my extra breast pump. I think this one is from Medela. It was given to me by a friend. And then we've got toys in this basket, books and a few other nursery bits in here. Then we've got just like some random things. I think there's some sound machines or monitor mattress protector and maybe a couple of other items in there. Those are all going to stay here in the nursery though. So wanted to keep those here till we have time to unbox them. And then the bottom two are all for postpartum things. Then I did move a bunch of our diapering and breastfeeding supplies to this little cart right here. Probably organize this at another point because there's still some more things that I need to kind of fill this out, but going to use this as kind of a bedside nursery setup that we can also move around with us throughout the day so that I can breastfeed from anywhere, change a diaper anywhere, all of that. So now let's move. I've got some kitchen bits here, some bathroom bits down here, and then also our tub up here, just to the appropriate rooms. I'm not sure that we'll take care of all of the kitchen stuff now, sanitizing all of that. Might save that for later, but at least want to get it kind of like in the right room. I think I'm just gonna put all the kitchen stuff in this empty cabinet here until I have time to go through it. big in person. I feel like I almost want to check to make sure it even fits in our tub. Turns out nothing to worry about. There's actually plenty of room on either side. So I've got the laundry switched over and when that finishes and we've got the washcloths and towels ready, we can go ahead and finish setting up the bathroom. I feel like it just makes sense to wait to do all of that at once. But in the meantime, I just got a little Amazon package. I figured we could open that because I'm pretty sure there's some baby bits in here. And then after that, I would love to set up the car seat, the stroller, just kind of figure out how all of that works together. But let's do this first. So we've got a few things here. These, I believe, are little pacifier or in Canada we used to call them soother soother cases that you can use just to make sure that as you're kind of carrying soothers pacifiers whatever you call them around uh, they don't get dirty so you can just stick one in there love the idea of putting one of these in our diaper bag for sure and then potentially one in our little cart as well so just got a little two pack and then I got some gripe water. I've heard really good things about this. Probably going to go in the postpartum cart. And then again, so many people recommended this to me. This is the nose Frida snot sucker, which sounds a little disgusting. Not gonna lie, but apparently it works really well. And you know, between diapers and all of that, I feel like there's enough little like nasty things that you just get used to, so it's not sucker. I'm sure it's better than having your baby just struggling to breathe. So I'll just put all of these over here for now. 
Okay, let's see how this car seat stroller combo works. We decided to get the Chico Key Fit 35 because, well, number one, we needed something that would fit in a compact car because we only own two compact cars. Might change in the future, but for now, need something that works for that situation. And then also wanted something that had good safety ratings, reviews, all of that. Got a lot of recommendations for this one. So decided to get that. And then for the stroller, we decided to get the Key Fit Caddy, which snaps like right into this. It's supposed to be a really easy, like fold up store away all of that solution that doesn't take up a ton of room in a trunk because again compact car so i think this might be limiting long term like i think this is only going to be a setup until he outgrows this car seat but i'm hoping that this will be a really good combo together and of course we also have the safety mirror if you've used a similar system before i would love to hear from you do you think we should get another stroller i know that this is going to be great for things like running errands short trips all of that but there aren't any other attachments to it so you can't use it with a bassinet a seat anything like that so definitely more limiting and long term we'll definitely want to get another stroller but i don't know i feel like for the first few months I think that this might be all we need. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and especially if you have any experience either with just something like this or did you purchase multiples, all of that. Well, let's open these guys up. How tiny and precious is this? I cannot believe he's gonna fit in here. Now, for the stroller. Okay, doesn't look too hard. Let's see how long this takes. not even 10 minutes to assemble. Look how easy it is to use. You just snap it right in place. Good to go with baby. Got a nice little bit of storage at the bottom. Spot for drinks. I feel like this is gonna work really well. You can just pop them out. And then to break it down, I think you just pull on this. And it's all broken down. That should fit pretty well inside of our trunk. So now let's head over to the car and install the base. So I think for this, rather than try to follow the user manual, I'm just going to watch, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos that walk you through how to make sure everything's set up properly. I think I'm gonna give that a go. I think we're good to go with installation here. They said that you shouldn't be able to move it more than an inch either direction and you can't. So feeling good about that. And it's also really easy just to snap the car seat in and out, which I'm really thankful for. Also got the little mirror installed so we'll be able to see baby. Really wasn't too hard at all. Of course, I am probably going to have either the fire department or at least an experienced parent friend double check everything to make sure that it looks good, secure, that it's installed correctly. But at least everything that I could tell from the video and the kind of checks that they said to look out for looks like we're good to go. We've got the first load of laundry all washed and dried, but I think I'm going to wait to fold it until my birth prep class this evening. It's a two and a half hour long online class, so feels like that would be the perfect time to get some folding done while I watch that. But what I want to do right now is to pull out all of the washcloths and towels and spend just a few minutes organizing the bathroom. I think I will at least pull everything out so it doesn't get wrinkly though. The bathroom organization I think should be pretty straightforward. We've just got 
the tub, a little bath rinser, which this helps from getting water or shampoo, anything like that in the baby's eyes. Got a little two pack of shampoo and body wash and then face and body lotion. And then two towels and a bunch of washcloths. And I think I'm just gonna try storing everything in here. How cute is this? I was able to fold it so you just have the little ears sticking out. <laughs> so adorable. Let's see if we can do that with this one. <laughs> Literally even cuter. So technically I was able to fit this in the cabinet under the bathroom sink, but after thinking about it, I feel like it just makes the most sense to leave this in the tub. This shower setup really never gets used, except when we have guests, we're going to be bathing the baby a lot more often than we'll be hosting, especially in those first few months and honestly probably years too. So I've just got the little whale tub in here with the bath rinser and I did put in the infant seat so it'll be ready to go when he comes home. And then for the rest of his bathing supplies, I just stuck all of his towels, washcloths, and bathing products on this side. And we've got a few other things over here. So not too much to do there, but glad we're able to get that checked off of our list. And it does feel really good having at least one space in our house that is ready for the baby. Now, I think what I want to do is run to probably Target. There are a couple of items that I want to pick up for the postpartum cart that we're probably going to do another day, but a couple items I want to pick up for that. I need an extra, probably an extra crib sheet, and maybe we can look for a couple of those baby clothing items that we need to, yeah, the gaps that we need to fill. So here is our list. Let's see if we can find all of this. Some sleepers over here. Ideally, I'd love to find some that are gender neutral so we could use them for multiple babies. Oh, that's a cute one. So I was able to pick up the few bits that we needed at Target, including a couple of clothing items and health bits. Then it was time for the birthing class, so I just headed back home, folded up all the baby's laundry while watching the class, which was honestly really good. I learned a lot in it. But I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me as we began prepping in earnest for baby boy's arrival. Still got a lot to do, but it feels so good getting started on it. If you are an experienced mama or currently expecting, I would love to hear from you with clothes, baby items, other bits, really anything that we talked about today. What did you find useful? How much of everything did you find that you needed? This is all so new to me. I'm figuring it out as I go. So be sure to share your wisdom and let's chat in the comments. Before I go, don't forget to check out Parallel and use code Ashlyn 20 for 20% off. And of course, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.